Hello guys, it's going to be part three of our conspiracy theories of TV shows and I am super excited. Today we're going to touch base on some cartoons today. So very excited. Uh, just as a disclaimer, if you are not into conspiracy theories, this may make some people uncomfortable or unsettled. Totally understand you might want to click out of this video. But if you are into this, let's get started. So this really interested me and this is about Pinky and the Brain and it's really talking about who the real genius is in Pinky and the Brain. A lot of people always, you know, they put it off or, you know, Brain is the genius and Pinky is nuts. Now, the whole premise of the show is saying how one is a genius and the other one is insane. However, they never really dictate which one is which. They never come out and say this one is this person and this one is that. We just automatically assume that brain because he says he's brain and he comes off with these things and pinky because he's a little bit goofy. However, brain repeats himself in the same schemes no matter what that he how many times he fails he keeps failing and he keeps trying to do the exact same thing now by definition insanity is repeating something over and over and over again expecting a different result but always getting the same result so a lot of people think that pinky is actually the genius and in his brain the one that is the crazy one that he's the insane one what are your thoughts on this um just and fun but i actually that had me thinking where it's like maybe you know pinky really is the more intelligent one he's always trying to come up with different ideas in different ways just because you know he's a little bit eccentric doesn't mean that he's not the brain um very interesting one though all right this is one i know you guys brought up a lot the since the first conspiracy video i made and that is the rugrats theory now when i first heard this this ruined my childhood a little bit so i'm gonna let you guys know if you were a big fan and you did not hear this yet you might not want to listen to this because i can never get it out of my head while we're watching this show so that is your disclaimer for this one but but it is that it is an hallucination and it's angelica's hallucination let's get into it and this is a very sad theory and oh god it it bugged me a lot and pretty much that everybody is a figment of angelica's imagination that the babies are not real and that the one girl that you know you're supposed to not really like that much which is angelica is actually the only real one and she is the only real one and that the theory goes that the babies are unalive in different ways and angelica imagines them to cope with the loneliness um Chucky passed with his mom explaining why you know Charles is always so frantic he's you know very anxious all the time Tommy was a stillborn which is why Stu spends most of his life in the basement constantly making toys for the child he never had and you can see his behavior is a little neurotic too Phil and Lil were unalived and Angelica imagines them as twins because she didn't know which gender the baby would have been. I'm trying to be careful on how I put this because this is a really dark theory. And it's really sad that this was even made. Whoever did this, like, sicko, you're shame on you, okay? I'm um, sorry, but wow. I mean, it goes deeper with the all grown up thing where they try to include, you know, Angelica was on drugs and I, it gets deeper than that. But can you like imagine like who made this theory? Um, this is one of those theories that actually like ruined it for me when I first saw it like years ago and I could never get it out of my head. And I actually think it was one of the things that when I saw it years ago kind of got me into conspiracy theories in general. So uh, yeah, totally. That one messed me up. I know those were some heavy subjects. I tried to be careful on how I put them. I kind of stumbled a little bit because it's like I don't I don't want to hurt anybody with what the context is. However, I know that's a tough subject. Um, we're going to be making a part four to this. Thank you guys for all who watch. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see down below. Um, I really appreciate the love and support. And thanks so much, guys. And again, sorry if that got a little heavy at the end. I can totally understand. Check out one of the other ones so uh, you end more on a more pleasant note.